We have another situation right now, too, where this homeowner's basement is literally flooded right now. This was all storm water that came in, right? Or oh, this was the no, sanitary? This is, this is sanitary. Sanitary? sanitary? Jesus Christ. So I didn't even know she's been running a pump, she said, for the past three days. So the, the water was about three feet high. Ah, oh, man. Floors are already starting to buckle up. Everything was flooded. Wow. And here is the sewer. So she's catching it on both ends. Wow. Is there a collapse on that line out there, too? It's a sanitary line. And that's the issue right there. The sanitary line is collapsed, so there's no way for the, the flow to go out. It's just going out there and it's getting stuck and flowing right back in there into a basement. And the rain amount's been increasing. Yep. So if we're getting way more rain and more frequently... <laughs> Crazy thing about this is, like, you wouldn't expect that over here, right? And it's like, it's not a north side, south side thing. It's the whole city. The whole damn city is collapsing. The south side of the city is really, it's affected more because it's so densely populated, so yeah. there's a lot more families affected. But it's a citywide issue. It's like, like I said, this just hit me just now, because I'm like, I didn't even know about this. This was never on the radar. That's my first time ever meeting wow. these people and getting to this house. And this area was never on the radar. So now it's just like, all right, we got another, a uh, repair that has to be completed that can cost us $30,000 or it can cost us $300,000. You almost don't want to look because you know right. that every time you look you're at gonna, a new corner... You're going to find something. It's inevitable at this point. Any, anywhere we look, there's it, going to be an issue. 